Uh, so I'm Brianna and uh, I came because I was interested in the GovPack stuff, um, but uh, I don't have a lot of experience doing mashups and I haven't used Google Maps before, so this is kind of my first project. And uh, since I didn't have a society changing idea, I thought, well, I'll just go to frogs because they're quite cool. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a data set from South Australia, which is like a frog atlas. So I think it's their environment, people going out and recording sightings of frogs. No, it's uh, the public. Oh, it's the public. Yep. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Well, they opened it up to the public. There were only a few. There were only a few sightings, as it were, by their own people, and then they got vast amounts more. Okay, cool. Yeah. So there is about. Um, I think this only has about an eighth of the data because there's about 6,700 sightings in total, and Google Maps didn't cope with that very well. So they're all um, clustered. And if you zoom in, then you can see the individual ones. And when you get down to the individual level, they're actually uh, coloured by species. And name the individual frogs. <laughs> uh, no, I, I'm not sure if they're the same frogs or not. So <laughs> if they are, then some of the frogs have been on big travel uh, So then you pop up, and books. then this is a link to a one of the frogs databases that is around. And um, yeah, so then you can also um, just look at some of the species. And um, yeah, find out your nearest frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think there's also some date data in there, so uh, if I get really inspired I could make a timeline of that. You can see maybe the frog's migrating or something. Probably not. Uh, yeah, so that's frog spot. Well done. Ooh.